points in the regular season. Louisiana Tech in the blue, Georgia in the home white. Rick Crawford is the lead official. He's got the ball, and we're ready to begin round two of the NIT. La Tech's got to do the job on the backboards, and Georgia's got to take care of the basketball. Watch for those two things early. That's Chris Anderson. Kaiser trying to get underneath to Hamilton. Instead, this is Smith. Anderson thought about the step back three. And a rarity for Louisiana Tech to shoot with under 10 in the shot clock and no trouble for the lefty, Hamilton. And that's what makes La Tech so dangerous, the ability for multiple guys to drop the basketball from the perimeter and finish at the rim. And a little bit of backward pressure, but easily broken by the man and games combo. Dante Williams, shot rejection that time. Knocked out of bounds by Michael Kaiser. Well, Kaiser has outstanding length. He's a rim protector for Louisiana Tech. And a very quick change for Louisiana Tech as Cordarius Johnson comes in and Jerron Johnson checks out. Tipped. And out of bounds. The quickness of Alex Hamilton that time. It'll be Georgia ball 15 to shoot. And that's the danger of playing against La Tech. Michael White's team is going to get after you defensively out in play at passing lanes. Big deflection team. They're long, they're athletic, and they get after you. I don't think that jacket's going to stay on Michael White for much longer. Well, he may play as hard over on the sidelines, moving his feet as his team does defensively. And man with an awkward dribble lost it out of bounds. Kind of ran out of room, and Mark Fox is wondering there might have been a foul in his opinion, but the officials didn't agree. Well, Charles Mann making a lot of progress under Mark Fox. The one area he's got to continue to improve in is being solid with the basketball. It's a very nice crowd on hand here, and there's going to be an offensive foul against the Bulldogs. For short notice on this game, a lot of folks made it out here. Big weekend on the Georgia campus, too, parents weekend. And so a lot of folks pop it in here to Stegman. A lot of energy in this building. Feels like a tournament atmosphere this morning. And again, morning. A lot of college students aren't terribly fond of Saturday morning wake-up calls. Man and Gaines playing catch again. This is Gaines. And one of the things La Tech does with their pressure, even if they don't force turnovers, they force you to take nine, ten seconds off the shot clock. Well, Gaines fumbled a good pass. Here's Thornton. Spin move. Rejected again by Kaiser. He's got two blocks in the first 90 seconds, and here comes Louisiana Tech. Hamilton on the lefty drive again, and that's blocked, but the putback is good. And once again, there's Kaiser around that rim. Uh, in terms of length and athleticism, La Tech is going to look like an SEC team. Not as big and strong, but with length and athleticism, they can play with anybody. How about the aggressiveness here for Louisiana Tech so far defensively? They definitely want to force the action. Michael White is imposed an up-tempo, in-your-face, aggressive defensive style. And Kaiser makes it a 6-0 start for Louisiana Tech, showing that he's more than just a rim guy. He hits the face-up jumper, and George is going to the bench right away. And I've seen Mark Fox do this before, Darren. If he's not happy early on, he won't wait to make substitutions. And rightfully so. Another steal. Hamilton free. <laughs> and timeout, Georgia. An 8 nothing start for the visiting Bulldogs. So Mark Fox exhorts his troops. Darren, what is Louisiana Tech doing? They're creating offense off of their defense, forcing turnovers and getting out in transition. They're using their length. You see him playing the passing lanes. You cannot make slow lateral passes against this La Tech team. They're going to turn it into baskets on the other end. You see the slow lateral pass, and you have to meet your pass if you're Brandon Morris. If you wait on it, you're going to be watching La Tech from the back shooting layups on the other end. Now, I'm going to guess that Georgia has that in their scouting report. Now they've ex the players have experienced it, and now it's probably sunk in. Plus, I'm sure the timeout was all about that. I was at Georgia's practice yesterday. It was covered extensively by Mark Fox. It's one of the frustrating things of coaching 18, 19, and 20 year old <laughs> Dave. So substitutions, Juwan Parker and J.J. Frazier come in for a new backcourt. Nemi Yurisic is in also, number 42. He inbounded for Georgia. And the Bulldogs, the home Bulldogs, quickly break the press. 
And they keep the ball after it's knocked out of bounds. Already Georgia, this is their seventh possession in the first six. They turned it over four times. You know, having been a pressing coach seven of my nine years as a head coach, I can tell you, you'll want to force turnovers, but part of it is just to speed the other team up, take them out of the rhythm, and force time off the shot clock. Urisic with a nice cut to the basket, and Georgia's on the board. No problem, and that's the other thing. If you haven't seen Louisiana Tech, they don't worry about the shot clock. They're just going to fire it. The biggest compliment we can give Michael White is that his team plays confident and with no fear on both ends of the floor. And there's another steal by Louisiana Tech. That is five Georgia turnovers already. Johnson, who just knocked down the three on the dribble, on the drive, past Thornton, missed it, and Johnson tapped it, but Thornton gets control. Frazier to Morris so you've got out of the game man and games tough shot Kaiser may have gotten another block there and he was looking for the alley-oop from Smith but it wasn't open Hamilton Hamilton again Oof. really goodness Another three, 14 to two. Louisiana Tech pops their first two threes. La Tech on pace for 90 plus this game already, Dan. Well, they had 89 in the first round and an absolute, another turnover and a steal and another layup and another timeout. And a blindingly fast start by Louisiana Tech. Seven of nine from the field. Louisiana Tech, Darren, is at the moment unstoppable. They're getting it done from everywhere, up 14 early. One car travels towards an intersection with wipers that streak and clog, while another travels towards the same intersection with wiper blades that don't let them see clearly. But between them, the Michelin Man with new Michelin Stealth Wiper Blades, a revolution in wiper blade technology, combining smart flex construction for superior windshield contact with proven hybrid blade design for clog-free performance in rain, ice, and snow, helping you steer clear for the road ahead. New Michelin Stealth Wiper Blades, a better way forward. Get your Michelin Wiper Blades at Walmart. Okay. Well, there's your score and time at Louisiana Tech, and, and Darren, they have done it with pressure. What is the key to setting this kind of pressure that has worked so successfully? Well, the biggest key has been that they've been able to turn some defense into offense, and then even in the half court, you see that, a point off a turnover. But even in the half court, Hamilton just banks a three. When you can score, you can set your press. A lot of people don't realize that. That sounds simple, but if you can't put it in the basket, you can't get your pressure set. They're scoring at a high clip early, and it's allowed them to set their pressure. Six points off turnovers for Louisiana Tech, and obviously none for Georgia. Their only bucket is a layup by Nemi Urasic on a nice cut to the bucket. Georgia's only attempted four shots. They have more turnovers than field goal attempts right now. Six to four. So Mann and Gaines back into the game. This is Mann, outstanding sophomore. Kind of in the mold of Contavious Caldwell Pope. With the SEC Player of the Year a season ago. Tough shot. And ripping down the rebound. And Anderson, this Louisiana Tech team, playing with tremendous purpose right here. Morris knocks it out of bounds, 27 to shoot. We'll step aside as George is still trying to get their sea legs as Louisiana Tech is coming to Athens on fire. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the 2014 Mazda 3 with seamless connectivity and Dish Network. People once thought bigger meant stronger, and a man weighing 135 pounds destroyed that notion, proving that might can be light. Define convention is also the Mazda way and why the 2014 Mazda 3 was created with sky active technology So it's lighter yet stronger and more nimble with an engine that punches above its weight. This is the 2014 Mazda 3 What do you drive? It goes without saying but please don't try this at home 
because, whoops, you simply can't do this at home. Go and smell the roses. I don't know how it happened, but it's okay. We're ready. When the things that matter most are on the line, make sure we are too. The fire and water cleanup team at 1-800-SERV-PRO. Like it never even happened. Pizza Hut already delivers great pizzas, and now they're delivering award-winning wing joint quality wings here in our Wing Street kitchen. They're always kitchen fried, hand tossed, and eight signature sauces, and then they deliver. Get eight bone out wings for five bucks or a buck more for bone in. Wing Street from Pizza Hut. Be one with it, and it will be one with you. Be one with your tires, and the road will be one with you. Hanguk Tires. What are you doing? Watching the tournament on my TV. What are you doing? That is not a TV. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, because I can watch all my TV live with the hot bar from Dish. From Dish? Dish. Dish. Only Dish. Oh, only Dish. Uh-oh. Incoming. Hey, boss. Woo! I love working. Do you ever work? Dude, I'm trying to watch the game. The Hopper from Dish brings you all your live games anywhere. Only Dish. We got a packed house of Georgia Bulldog fans here. A few made the trip from Ruston. Right now, the Georgia fans just stunned at what's been happening here, Darren. Well, the problem is LaTeX pressure. And if you're Georgia, you can't throw slow lateral passes, freeze it. You've got to be aware that this guy is going to look to shoot the gap. You can't throw slow lateral passes. LaTeX going to turn him into points, Dave. What about we've all here is about ball fakes? What about a pass fake? You've got a pass fake, and you've got to meet your passes. If you stop and wait on it, LaTeX going to run through that passing lane and score it on the other end. Well, if you happen to see Louisiana Tech Iona in the first round, you saw an instant classic 89-88 Louisiana Tech winning on a putback by that young man right there, Kenneth Smith. And it was really fun to watch. I mean, if Iona had moved on, we would have been just as similarly entertained. They were great. And so far, you're seeing that kind of pace from Louisiana Tech and Georgia helping. They've turned it over. and They've been stolen five times and turned it over six. This is what Georgia Tech needs to do, get in a half-court situation. Take away that paint, use their size and length. Now McNeil got into a little bit of trouble and got a whistle to bail him out. You see, Keon McNeil, rarely he even drives the ball. He is an incredible three-point shooter, 50%. Yeah, I'm not sure he was really shooting that basketball. I think he got caught up in the air and was trying to make a last-minute dish. Fouled by Dante Williams. <laughs> McNeil... He's over a thousand points in his career. Has 219 threes in his career. He had four in the win over Iowa. Excellent free throw shooter, 82 percent. If Georgia gave up a 21 to two run in favor of Vermont in their first round game, still came back and won the game. And they break the press with three passes. Jurisich, and he draws a foul and got hit in the face. And this will be on Michael Kaiser, junior from Lancaster, Texas. You're such a unique player. Big man is an excellent three-point shooter. Probably Georgia's best, as a matter of fact, when you get right down to it, about 43%. He's got a high skill level, Dave. Gives him the advantage of being able to play through him, not only because of his ability to shoot, but to pass the basketball and make decisions. Go through years right now. He's a good passer. Darren mentioned. Gaines on the drive. And he was hit. That's a clear foul. Probably on number five, Chris Anderson. And you see defensively, and we're already seeing that they're living up to those numbers. Well, the reason the points allowed per, per possession is so high, six in the country, is because of the next one. Turnovers forces at seventh. So therefore, the other team is getting less possessions to do something positive with the basketball. Well, thinking of Georgia, you can see them tomorrow against St. Joseph's at 5.30 Eastern on ESPN and watch ESPN on the first round of the women's NCAA tournament. As that continues, you can find information on every championship at NCAA.com, the official online home for all 89 NCAA championships. Tough 
drive and a right-handed lay-in by Anderson who tucked it under his left arm and then switched to the right in the air. Well, that's an advantage for La Tech. Anderson's a four-man when you look at this lineup, but he can really put the ball in the deck. He took advantage of it on that drive. So Georgia nearly used up all 10 seconds there, so they come into the forecourt at 25 on the shot clock and a five-second violation and another Georgia turnover. Well, Charles Mann has to play better than this. As a point guard, this late in your sophomore season, you can't have a five-second call against a team that's pressuring you. you got to break that five count, get your team into something. All they are right now is in the trouble. Uh, it's not like he hasn't seen pressure before, though, Dave. They've played Arkansas. And they've, gotten, they've played teams in the SEC. They're going to get after you. Tennessee. Anderson, easy shots, too, for Louisiana Tech. They've hit a couple of threes, but they've had breakaway layups and this drive to the hoop. And the moment, Georgia's interior defense not putting up much resistance. Well, one of the things that's so good about La Tech's pressure. A tough shot that time as Cameron Forte gets an opportunity to play. As they get after you in the full court, but they don't give up a lot of easy ones, so they're able to be solid in the half court as well. Another three ball. And a miss. Rebound Louisiana Tech on the putback, no good. Talbot in the game, and Talbot number 40 had a good chance on it, and here comes Georgia. Man, hot step. And a whistle, he'll shoot. Well, Louisiana Tech driving the basketball from the perimeter. You see that drive is against Dixon. That's a mismatch. Anderson putting the ball on the ground, and Dixon trying to move his feet. La Tech's going to win that battle. Alex Hamilton hit with his first personal foul. And at the line, a good look at Charles Mann. And this is a place, Darren, where he is extremely comfortable. Does an outstanding job of getting to the foul line. He has taken the 11th most free throw attempts in college basketball this year. Coach has put him on the second team, all SEC. 71% foul shooter. A been a little shaky running his team, hasn't played real well in the first seven minutes. Maybe getting to the foul line will help settle him down and play the way we know Charles Mann is capable of playing. Pretty that time, and a rebound by Anderson. There's Smith. Georgia switching defenses to 2 3 zone, trying to take away that dribble penetration. Remember, McNeil is a tremendous three point shooter. That's where he takes about 75% of his field goal attempts come from that range. Smith way up in the air to grab it, but nearly was an errant pass. You're going to get the basketball to the baseline in the middle of the floor against the zone. On the drive and stolen away. Georgia back the other way. Back the other way we go again. Another turnover. Pass ahead to Talbot. Bumps with Dixon. Lost control of it. Tapped up. And a good tap out that time for Georgia by Forte. And almost another steal by Smith. And Georgia just wants to take a deep breath as Coach White is... Jumping up and down, Thornton needs got hit in the eye and needs a break. I think the reason La Tech plays so hard on defense is that nobody's moving their feet better than Michael White, and they're putting on a <laughs> clinic and effort. Look at this. Turnover, but doesn't stop on the play. Kean McNeil able to force the turnover. La Tech is, does as good a job as anybody I've seen all year, David, playing the next play and just giving tremendous effort. Credit Michael White and his staff for that. Man, draw some contact. Beautiful drive that time by Charles Mann, and if Georgia is going to start the comeback, he will have to lead it. A spread through with Charles Mann attacking a ball screen at Talbot's Garden. A good call by Mark Fox. And Mann with a determined look on his face, defending Smith. That's McNeil with a three ball. And Mark Fox furious because Kenny Gaines did not play personnel on that one. Left the shooter. The shooter who's a three-point specialist. And boy, this place was so noisy. And it's so quiet. Man, tough shot. On the drive. Can't get the break. And Smith comes away with a rebound. McNeil again. 
28 to 9. Four made threes in this half for Louisiana Tech. McNeil now with eight points. Urisic off balance. And he will go to the line. La Tech clicking on all cylinders, attacking the basket defensively and shooting from beyond the arc. Big lead over the Bulldogs early. Some people go to enormous lengths in the name of safety, like the inventor of the flame-resistant racing suit, Bill Simpson. Courageous engineering is also the Mazda way, and why the 2014 Mazda 3 has an available class-exclusive suite of eight safety features and a top safety rating. Because when it comes to safety, you can never go too far. This is the 2014 Mazda 3. What do you drive? You may be wondering why it's 28 to 9 if you're just sitting down to join us. Eight turnovers for Georgia, matching the number of field goals they've attempted. And Louisiana Tech, Darren, is shooting an unconscious 11 of 16, 4 of 5 from 3. And give Michael White credit. This is one of the stars on the rise in college basketball coaching. They've got the most wins over any two-year period in La Tech history. And if they win today, they'll tie the all-time win record for a single season. And you know who was on the team that did that? Carl Mailman Malone. Right now, the guy that's delivering is Michael White. Thomas McClellan, the new AD at La Tech, better get him locked up. <laughs> or he's going to get loose like his team is early today. And that jacket is indeed off. Michael White, extremely energetic on the sidelines. And how good is Conference USA? Apparently pretty good. This team looks like they belong in the SEC. Tulsa won the tournament championship. Beating these Played guys. Played UCLA tough last night. And yeah. Southern Miss is a nightmare mm -hmm. with the wins approaching 30 this year. A great two-year run by Donnie Tindall and his team. And Southern Miss is in the NIT playing Missouri. And a few, more than a few folks. Yersich now with three points. He thought that Louisiana Tech was good enough to be in the field of 64. 68, whatever. Anderson with a rebound. Well, they're showing here in this NIT stage, getting the opportunity in the NIT to show everybody how good they are. They just don't look like an NCAA tournament team. They look like a team that could win a game oh, yes. in the tournament. I, they're in, I think Nightmare is about right when you talk about Southern Miss. This team as well. Louisiana Tech, the regular season champions. That's how they earned their automatic berth into the NIT. They didn't win their conference tournament. Morris on the dribble ball. Pretty good behind the back. He was fouled by McNeil. What a sweet dribble by the sophomore from Lithonia, Georgia. Big time move by the sophomore in transition. The big man, don't reach. You do and I teach. And he also gets the finish with the opposite hand. He's a lefty, finishing with the right. Gotta like that, Dave. Steady player. 63.5% free throw shooter. Tell you what, these fans making a lot of noise for a team that's down by 15. It's a tremendous atmosphere. That's the guy to watch from three, McNeil. Smith will even contested. Oh my goodness. That was contested. But you can't contest a shooter of that caliber. You gotta get on that shooting shoulder early, and you gotta chase him off that line. You can't even let him get it off. 
Georgia's got to hurry, and they get it across to Morris just in time. About 9.9 .9 seconds on that. And again, one of the advantages of pressing is even if you don't force a turnover, Georgia's not starting their offense until 20 seconds on the clock. Floater, tough shot. Urisic, rebound opportunity. Out of the floor we go. Going for whistle. There's the jump ball call. The possession arrow in favor of Georgia. The shooter gives it up, spaces, and then gets it back. Catching in rhythm, stepping into the shot. They gotta chase him off that line. Well, I was gonna ask you, what is that what Frazier did there? Wrong in the 30 for Georgia? Did he just make that little mistake? Well, what McNeil did a good job of is he spaced to the corner. Frazier's gotta know where he is and stay with him. You gotta know scouting report, stay even in his zone, stay with that shooter. Don't let him get behind you. Kenny Paul Gino now into the game. Mark Fox, the look on his face as he approaches his players just says everything about the way this morning has gone for his Bulldogs so far. A lot takes pressure, a major issue right now for Georgia. And one of the big keys has not just been the layups off of turnovers, but they're shooting the basketball well. Also, Hamilton with the three. Johnson knocks one down, and you can't let this guy get loose. McNeil's their best three-point shooter. 70% plus of his attempts to shoot has been from the three. You gotta know scouting report. La Tech, five and six from the line. Georgia, yet to get one update. Everything it seems like Georgia has tried has been contested. Even when they drive the basket, they try to be the aggressive team. They have had a difficult time with Louisiana Tech. We showed you they're one of the best defensive teams in the country, and they're also approaching this game with a balanced offense as well. So 13 to shoot. Yurisic's a pretty good three-point shooter. And there's the first three-point attempt. Back iron rebound for the home team. Gino thought about the inside pass. Yurisic calling to the ball. He's got a major height mismatch now with McNeil on him, and now it's switched off. Yurisic again, being aggressive. Righty hook, no good. Rebound the other way with Hamilton. Montek doing a nice job of game rebounding. Georgia's got to get to that offensive glass. Offensive foul on Hamilton, led with a forearm. His second foul. Driving the basketball in transition. Oh, you can't lead and then extend that arm. You don't have to be set. You just have to be in front. That was a good call. And the Bulldogs this time getting, oh, I was going to say almost getting a free chance, but Smith poking it away. And here comes Louisiana Tech again. Smith, three ball. Again, six of seven Louisiana Tech and eight points for Johnson. Make it ten now. You know, you can play great and force turnovers and those shots not go in. They're all going in for La Tech right now. And that's why they're up 21. Smith. The thing about Johnson, Darren, is he just, he's almost flat footed when he shoots those. And there's going to be a foul. I don't know if it's going to be uh, in the act of shooting. It'll be on Urisic. And it will be ball underneath out of bounds. That's the first on Urisic. Georgia will bring back J.J. Frazier. And checking out of the game will be Jerron Parker as Mark Fox is searching for a combination that can handle the ball a little bit better. Well, at some point, too, Dave, players have to respond. Uh, Mark Fox had his team second in the SEC this year, the second most SEC wins in Georgia school of history. It's not the call from the bench, whether it's zone or maybe at some point, hey, guys, let's sit down and guard somebody. Have some pride. I think deep down, you think Mark Fox is also figuring there's no way Louisiana Tech can maintain this shooting pace of seven of eight from three. Well, the problem though is now you're down 24, you dug yourself such a big hole, even if they miss the rest of them, you got a long uphill climb. Another turnover by Georgia. This Louisiana Tech team so aggressive defensively. McNeil passing up the three. Fans here looking for a travel. All they're getting is a 26 point deficit. 16 points off turnovers for Louisiana Tech. And Mark Fox is going to have a little discussion here with Rick Crawford. He, he thought it was a travel. Well, it might have been, but the biggest issue is that La Tech's bigs have the ability to drive Georgia's bigs. 
That's about the fourth finish at the rim that we've seen. So not only is the drive an issue, but where is the help? Pretty good job by Jerison's moving his feet. Might have got an extra step in. He did. But where's the help defense if you're Georgia? So not only guarding the basketball, but stopping it with help. Well, third round coverage of the Division I Men's Basketball Championship continues today on CBS, TBS, and TNT. For more information on game times and listings, all you have to do is go to NCAA.com. Well, the SEC has been sterling in the postseason so far. They haven't lost a game in the NCAA or the NIT, but they're in some trouble here with Georgia. Well, right now, it's tournament time, so you're doing anything that you can. Mark Fox down to one timeout, trying to stop the bleeding and get his team back on track. Urisic with a jump pass into the front court to Morris as they wait for Gaines to get back. So they're operating without Charles Mann here. We've got Frazier back into the game. He's trying to go one-on-one, -on -one, draws contact, and he may go to the line. Foul on Cordarius Johnson. We'll step aside with Georgia looking for answers offensively. When Martin Cooper invented the mobile phone in 1973. Hello? Yes, it's Marty. Guess what we did? Connectivity took a mighty leap forward. Staying connected is also the Mazda way. That's why the 2014 Mazda 3 uses cutting-edge technology. Hey. Hi. Headed home? On my way. To keep you seamlessly connected to the world around you and the road beneath you. This is the 2014 Mazda 3. What do you drive? It's coming. Like a swift-moving storm, it's coming. Gone for days, into weeks, into months. But now it returns. You can almost smell the pine tar from here. It's coming. Because it's baseball. And it makes us, us. Rule 3.30. It's summer. When baseball says it's summer. Dodgers Padres, March 30th at 8. Presented by Scott's. Baseball rules on ES. Here in Philadelphia, you can access a Philly cheesesteak anytime, day or night. Just like you can access Geico anytime, day or night. There's only one way to celebrate this unique similarity. Witness the Cheesesteak Shuffle. Cheesesteak, cheesesteak, it's the Cheesesteak Shuffle, huh? Every day, all day, cheesesteak, cheesesteak. Every night, all night, cheesesteak, cheesesteak. 9 a.m. cheesesteak. 2 p.m. cheesesteak. 3 a.m. cheesesteak. Anytime. Huh? Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Out here, there are no cheat codes. No avatars, no magic stars. This does not require an operating system, or a username, or a password. And there will not be better versions of these games coming out next year. There's nothing like the good of sport. This spring, shop the brands you love, plus thousands of items on sale now. Sports Authority, all things sporting good. Stunning start for Louisiana Tech over Georgia. Darren in this battle of the Bulldogs, and the difference has been steals and turnovers this Louisiana Tech defense. Nine steals early for Michael White's team. They've turned 16 in the points. They've got a 16-0 lead in points off turnovers. This is an impressive, impressive team, as I've seen all year. They're the caliber of the VCU wreaking havoc in Stegman Coliseum today against Georgia. You add to that, Dave, that they're seven of eight from the three-point line, and it's easy to see why they're up 26. Georgia not helping either with uh, little things like not getting the opportunity to hit free throws when they need them to make one out of two. They are six of nine from the line, Georgia. Just as imagine they've actually had more free throws made than baskets made in this game, but they're only four of 12. <laughs> A miss from three for Louisiana Tech. A Georgia fan might say, finally. Georgia's got to find a way to get some easy baskets, get to the foul line, maybe a put back off a miss. Spread this team out and drive and force them to foul you. Frazier, a three, short rebound, available when Urisic is quick to plug two. Long shots, long rebounds. Games. Double drive, lays it into the left hand. Spread them out. 
drive the basketball, let Kenny Gaines, let Frazier, let Mann when he gets back in there. Go to work, see if you can get to the rim, get some finishes, fouls, and putbacks. McNeil on the drive, penetrates to Smith. Smith will take it. Tough shot, off balance, rolled out. Smith gets in there among the big players to help out. It came out in the hands of Chris Anderson, and we have a whistle. Well, George is spreading out. La Tech in this possession. Gaines just dropping his shoulder and driving it to the rim. Might be the best plan of action here in the last six minutes. See if you can't get to the foul line. Get some putbacks as well. That's all well and good, but what about a defensive plan? Well, one, they've got to keep the basketball in front, which they're struggling to do. But two, they've just got to play a little bit tougher. Right now, La Tech out toughing them on the offensive glass. Georgia should have had that rebound. La Tech played like they wanted it a little bit more. Raheem Appleby into the game, number three in blue for Louisiana Tech. This is Smith again. Good look. Johnson, nice footwork by Johnson, and he shows he can score from long distance and from underneath. He's got a dozen. So it's Thornton, Urisich, Gaines, Frazier, and Morris, the five for Mark Fox's Georgia Bulldogs. Morris, nice drive, and he switches hands in the last second of the layup. Drive it every single play this last five minutes. Force La Tech to have to make some plays defensively. Calvin into the game now, number 40. Sets the screen, got a big screen, that's going to be an offensive foul. I think Frazier may have enhanced that contact as Talbot looks to be about twice Frazier's size, even though he isn't. 6'10", 290-pounder with two fouls. Well, the last two trips driving the basketball and offense, George has been successful. We need to spread that basketball floor and attack this aggressive lot tech defense. So they're down 23 right now, Dave. 5'11 left in the half. They've got to find a way to get it under 15 or within striking distance heading into the second half. They made a big comeback in the second half against Vermont. They actually had the halftime lead in Vermont in the first round of the NIT game. Then fell behind by nine, and Georgia was able to make the comeback to host this game against Louisiana Tech, who outscored Iona in the first round, 89-88, on a putback with two seconds to go. Morris, pretty drive, slipping in between defenders. Now Tech is taking away the reversals for Georgia, and twice Morris has just said, you know what, I'm going to drop my shoulder and go. I think that's got to be the plan of action for the last 4.34 of this half. So John Gorowski into the game now for Louisiana Tech number 11. He's looking to set a screen for Smith. He does. Foul line jumper, line drive too hard, rebound, Georgia. Drive that basketball. They do. Morris. Just missed the end one opportunity. Still the energy in the building hasn't flagged despite the way this half has gone. You're going to see on the reversal right here, they're going to take away the reversal pass. Opens up the middle area for Morris to drive the basketball. Spread that floor and get to the rim. They've done that the last four trips, including this transition one, and it's been good. Morris still with seven points. Substitutions for Louisiana Tech. Johnson and Appleby check out. Back into the game is Chris Anderson. And Keon McNeil. You can see Morris's numbers on the morning. with eight. Georgia has trimmed the lead to 20. You know the old adage, press a pressing team. Wonder if Mark Fox to show a little three-quarter court here in the last four minutes. They're taking pressure, see if he can't get a lot of tech to handle more. And McNeil on the baseline, he's such a threat that he's decided to put it on the floor a couple of times. Smith, pass, three, Side iron, no good. Louisiana Tech saving the rebound, but it goes to Georgia. Frazier leads it. Georgia needs an easy one. Did they get it? Well, that was nearly an offensive foul. Now they're going to get the easy one. Put back by Marcus Thornton. And we're going to get a timeout. Called by 
the visitors. We talked about getting it under 15. They're on their way to do it. Getting rowdy in Athens. Frazier pushing the basketball. Kenny Gaines, he's a load in transition. He misses, but they attack the glass. That's what driving the basketball does. Forces rotations. Then even if you miss, you get an opportunity for a putback. Well, tonight, a season-long journey comes to an end as the nation's top wrestlers square off in Oklahoma City for the right to be called champion. The finals of the NCAA Wrestling Championships tonight at 8 on ESPN and also live on Watch ESPN. I'll tell you something else. Darren, I haven't seen much of Michael Kaiser lately. He has two fouls, and he's the, at the beginning of the game, he came out, blocked a couple of shots early, but also picked up those fouls, and I think Georgia taking advantage of the shot blocker not being around. Well, the rim protector has left the rim open because he's out, and Georgia's been able to capitalize on it. Michael White probably feeling like they, hey, I'm up 18. I don't want to risk him getting the third. I'm going to need him in the second half. Johnson and Anderson, just a little bit more effort than Georgia on both of those offensive rebounds. One led to the tickle. All I can think of is the classic Rasheed Wallace. Both teams played hard, my man. And that was Louisiana Tech showing what the cliche of playing hard is all about. Tried the alley underneath, didn't work, knocked out of bounds. And belongs to Louisiana Tech. The fans here can't believe it. Great effort by La Tech on the offensive glass. Anderson flies in, just a tap, but gets the two. Heat, Pacers, Wednesday at 8 on ESPN. Yeah, I'm married. Doesn't matter. You do that for me? Really? Yeah, I'd like that. Who are you talking to? Uh, it's Jake from State Farm. Sounds like a really good deal. Jake from State Farm at 3 in the morning? Who is this? It's, it's Jake from State Farm. What are you wearing, Jake from State Farm? Uh, khakis. She sounds hideous. Well, she's a guy, so. Another reason more people stay with State Farm. Get to a better state. Today's going to be awesome, baby, with a count the light break. Hey, Jimmy, you got a box out. Get in the picture. That works, too. Nice move, baby. Hey, Beta, this kid is a diaper dandy. What a game face. Talk about a Cinderella story. We all have a Disney side, and the best place to show it is Disney Parks. For your chance to win a Walt Disney World vacation, go to ESPN.com slash sportsmagic. Show your Disney side, baby. Dinner's not my strong suit. We get to the end of the day and I'm toast. In fact, we've had toast for dinner. But tonight, I nailed it. KFC Family Feast. Nine pieces, any recipe, three large sides, six biscuits, $19.99. Do not give up on dinner. There are two kinds of walls. The ones that keep people out, like this one, and the ones that keep people in, like your living room. Go and smell the roses. We can go Sydney needed some financial guidance so she could take her dream to the next level. So we talked about her options. Her valuable assets were staying, and selling her car wouldn't fly. We helped Sydney manage her debt and prioritize her goals so she could really turn up the volume on her dreams today and tomorrow. So let's see what we can do about that Remodel. motorcycle. Some questions take more than a bank. They take a banker. Make a My Financial Priorities appointment today because when people talk, great things happen. Man needs to come off the bench because Georgia needs some help. Not only is their bench not doing as well as Louisiana Tech, they're just not playing as well as Louisiana Tech. Uh, Georgia trying to put a little run together. They've done it by attacking the basket, both in transition and.